what uni should you get into if you want to get into nutrition? Short answer is that you probably don't want to get into nutrition. <laughs> um, get into nutrition <laughs> and dietetics. Um, How and, crazy to say. Well, <laughs> I've said that. <laughs> yeah. Because as a, as a new, like, again, it's hard enough to get a job as a dietitian to let alone get a job as a nutritionist where every single person that you know can call themselves a nutritionist. Yes, right now you watching this can call yourself a nutritionist. Um, if you're a dietitian or not, obviously. But um, every dietitian is a nutritionist, a accredited nutritionist, but not every nutritionist is a dietitian. Anyway, so to answer the question around what uni should you go to, all depends on obviously where you are, what you want to study, and what like field of dietetics sometimes um, depends. So you would first, I would go look at the DAA website, honestly, and just look at the ones that are accredited. So then you actually know that your degree is going to be accredited because DA is where we need to be an accredited practicing dietitian to then get registered with Medicare and Department of Veteran Affairs, NDIS, um, and other things. So looking on there, they'll have a list of all the unis and their courses. As well as that, look at your local unis. Make sure that is if it says nutrition and dietetics, it'll usually have something around um, yeah, DA endorsed or something like that, um, which then tells you that on completion, you will become a dietitian. But in terms of picking which uni, that will depend on what you're interested in. So Griffith University, where I went to, it had a very sports focused when I went in. Um, a lot of the lecturers there were you know, sports dietitians as well and interested in that aspect and they're very research driven. Whereas other unis are not. I don't obviously have a lot of experience with that, but depending on the unknown sunny coast, there's a lot of sports nutrition. Um, sports dietitians there as well, so that's very Monash sports. is very research driven as yeah, well. Yeah, Monash and probably food intolerance Jason. driven, mm. um, given Monash maps and all of that. Mm. Um, and then, you know, I don't know about University of Canberra, um, what they're focused on, and then there's a couple in Perth and WA, um, James Cook University, is that one? Deakin? Deakin's in um, Victoria. Victoria, yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, and then there's the University of Sydney, then there's um, QUT, UQ. South Australia, US. Yeah, UNICEF South Australia. Yeah, um, and there's one, another one in um, Perth, there's two over in Perth. Um, so yeah, it all, all depends on obviously where you are, what you're interested in, and then where you can get in. So if you are applying for it, I would apply for absolutely everything. There's a lot of bachelor degrees, but then if you've done a bachelor's already of something else, then there's a lot of master's programs as well. So. Just apply for every area. I would say give yourself a best chance of getting because it is getting quite competitive. Um, and then when you come out, yeah, you'll be a dietitian. But whether or not you get a job, unfortunately, is one of the things. Live very very saturated market. Um, I think yeah, there might be five graduate jobs in Queensland with 160 new grads coming out each year. So that gives you a bit of a an idea as to what the job market is like. She tight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, all those are hospital jobs, obviously, but they're the graduate positions that most unis kind of tailor their mm -hmm. courses to. Like, not a single uni like Bond on Griffith uh, on the Gold Coast is probably one that's moving more towards private practice and and business related aspects of their course. But outside of that, I don't know a lot that are really supporting practitioners coming through with that because that's likely where you're gonna get a job. Um, getting a job in the hospital is few and far between, unless you are freaking amazing, plus you also know the right people, unfortunately. Mm. But yeah, that answers that. 